Morning, everybody. Woo, she's the beauty out. Okay, I got the old Merc here. Remember that load I showed you? I called it the 67 Merc logging truck or something anyway. But no, I called it Buckin's Gone Full Circle. Um, I got a load of debris in the back of the, uh, the, the Merc. And uh, I just basically, I, I, I gotta pull it out of the back of the truck. I got a couple of burn piles at the house. And this is an old thing we used to do. Sometimes it worked good, sometimes it didn't. Before I threw the brush in the truck, I threw a rope underneath, underneath, and then came up, cranked it up, and I got it tied to a tree. So I'm gonna put this here on the ground, and we're gonna, hopefully, this is gonna work. So I'm gonna put you guys right here, and we're gonna see if this works nicely. It may, it may not. Good. Yeah, real good. So, there she be. She worked out just dandy. I like it. So now, undo my knots. Merc's empty. Oh, oh yeah, remember? There's that piece of wood. Perfect. This couldn't have ended up better. Look at this. Now, this is that tree that blew over in that windstorm, remember? Check this out, this is excellent. Remember this, I showed you this on the last video, a few videos ago. This is that tree that had the rope tied around it and it, uh, it, it, it busted, it broke right over in the wind because it wiped out the cambium. It's just crazy, eh? look at that. There's the core wood right there, which is dead, right? We all know that, core wood, heartwood is dead. Yes, it's still fibrous, but it's dead, it's dry, bone dry. So if you're ever out in the bush and you're dealing with Douglas fir or any of those other conifers and that, the core is dead. So use it for kindling. You can see the different color, it's orange. The sapwood is white, see here it is here. So it's strong and fibrous. So is the core wood and so is the heartwood, but it is dead, okay? So that's neat, real neat. So I gotta get this pickup out of here. She's a little slippery on the lawn here, so I might have to uh, use some ingenuity. Okay, over and out. Thanks so much for watching. That works real good if you... So think before you throw in your pickup in. You know, think about, can I, can I, can I throw a rope down in there? Is there a tree or another truck I can, you know, tie onto and, and pull it out? That just saved me, whatever. <laughs> not, not necessarily the time, but the effort <laughs> of throwing it out. Because it's too big to throw on a fire like that anyway. So I'll chop it into threes and I'll burn it like that so it gets a nice core going. So anyway, just a little thing. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen it before or maybe even done it. I hope you have. If you haven't, give it a shot. It saves you a ton of energy. And it's cool. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks again, Buck and Billy Ray. Thanks for tuning in. I've noticed a few new subscribers in. I really, really appreciate the new subscribers and the old subscribers. And you know who I really appreciate? Not the most, but I really appreciate is the people who aren't my subscribers yet. Because I want you. <laughs> Over and out, seeing the trees or behind the kit.